Okay, next texture I would like to show you how you can draw it in Procreate by using standard Procreate brushes will be black marble. Let's select new layer and with a rectangle and I have color fill with the color selected from our mood board. So I will fill it up with this color. Um, basically, you can find on the internet many brushes of marble and stone, I mean ready-made brushes. I also have a folder of different kind of stones, for example, this one and others. But frankly speaking, I don't use them very often. I use them just if I have a big piece of the um, stone texture or marble. So yeah, I can find something similar in it from that ready-made brushes. But as I said before, I think it's very important to know how you can draw a marble by yourself using standard brushes of Procreate. So this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's switch on our alpha lock for our layer and we select uh, we select a brush in elements folder it calls water. So as you see, you can draw water with that brush or I use this brush to create a marble texture. Um, so we simply cover our, we can go actually, we change the color from the main color, we go a bit um, bright like this. This is the values I have, 203203203, bigger size. So I simply cover our rectangle with this brush. And now we'll just add some more details to look at like a stone, like a real texture. So what I do, I select copy marker brush, the one brush that I use very often and with the same color selected I will just add some um, with okay, we'll increase opacity and smaller size. So I will add just um, like depth to all these joints and I will add some other lines. As you see since I'm using very low opacity it goes like see-through transparent um, lines. So I will Somewhere I will just repeat lines, somewhere I will draw new lines. Not much, but just somewhere like that. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can select different shade. I will go a bit brighter. And again, I will add somewhere with smaller size and a bit bigger opacity. Somewhere just to add some brighter lines like that yeah and after that i select mm line brush and with the same shade same color i will draw thin lines coming from the center from these joints let's say it's like scratches some very thin lines again somewhere not everywhere just a few lines here, somewhere press more on my pencil, so it will give me more color. And after that, thin lines, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, now I go to the darker color and I do the same. I draw same lines. I press somewhere more, somewhere less. As you see, they're different uh, shape and size and color lines, like that. Very, very free hand. They shouldn't be perfect at all, as it's natural stone. Mm -hmm. So I think that's enough. Again, I go back to Copic Marker Brush and some uh, the same sorry color, dark color. I just add some depth, some shadow in all these black lines we just drew, like that. So as you see, there are thin, thick lines. Somewhere they are less visible, somewhere more visible. Uh, instead of Copic brush, you can use same brush we used before um, in Elements folder. 
the brush water here and you can also add um, actually it's not drawing on the back black sorry background so you can create new layer clipping mask and draw these black lines on that new layer um, like that also there is a folder um, spray paints and you can add somewhere this effect as the uh, you know like like to look like a stone not to be so smooth and plain background okay so um, since this is a marble we can also add some reflections let's merge these two layers together yeah so now we select brighter color cold pick marker brush and we draw diagonal lines to show some reflections on our tiles like this also with drawing assist on we can draw some borders so it will look like a tile for example and that's it our marble is ready okay and now let's try to create a white marble 